Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to our live stream today. Welcome to our Facebook uh, audience and our YouTube audience. If you're catching us on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. For those who are joining us live right now with Facebook or YouTube, go ahead and put it in the comments where are you joining from. We're joining from Houston, Texas. What's up, Tuan? How you doing today, man? What's going on? Happy, happy. It's another Tuesday. Happy, happy day. Uh, but today, uh, do us a favor. If you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook, drop us in the chat where you're tuning in from. We'd love to connect. If you're not already following us inside our group or even uh, connected as friends, send us a DM and just tell us how you found us. Uh, we just love connecting with our audience. Uh, but today, today, uh, what fires me up today, Corey, is today we're going to be talking about what we call a 14-day promo cycle. So if you're a coach right now and you're building and you really need a solid marketing campaign every single month, uh, today's going to be a really cool call for you because how, how many of y'all are, are currently making offers right now, right? Type in offer in the chat because if you're not making offers, you're not making any sales. Uh, one thing that we need to be very mindful of is following some of these big time gurus and you're literally trying to do everything that they're doing. Let me give you an example, right? Let's say you're following Gary V, maybe Russell Brunson, you're, you're, you're following Alex Ramosi and you're looking at them and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to create content. I got to create content. I got to create content. And then you blow all this money on content when you should have been just making offers and validating that. Don't fall into that trap, my friends. We've been there. We paid a lot of money early on trying to just do all this content and the fancy or Hermosi style captions. And we didn't have a valid offer or we didn't even know how to do a promotional post. And so all that content was irrelevant because what's the purpose of having thousands and thousands of views? And I've even seen people have a million subscribers to their TikTok, but they're not making any money. Not making any money. Because they're not making offers, gang. So if you're if you got offers that you're making out there in the marketplace, you're an online coach, you're looking, you're, you're making offers, put offers down there in the chat. We're gonna be talking about this today. We're gonna be talking about what we call our 14-day promotion cycle. You're gonna hear from one of our clients, Malik, who used this promo cycle, gang. Get this. He did fourteen thousand and five hundred dollars just by making simple Facebook posts. So if you can job with that, if you're excited to hear about that, how you can implement that in your business. Just type me down there in the chat because we what I want to do is we want to show you exactly how he did it. This is going to be a no hard bar interview if that's okay with you. We're going to ask him questions. You can ask him questions down in the chat. We'll watch the chat here. But like I said, if you're joining us live on Facebook or YouTube, if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, let us know down in the comments where you're joining from. For those who are on Facebook, welcome our Facebook family. We're live in our Facebook group. Uh, but just a little bit about Tuan and myself is we struggle to get clients at first. And this is what we use. We use these promotion cycles to literally launch our business. When we started our business back in 2021, we had a goal of $100,000. We did a million dollars in 14 months all through Facebook inside this Facebook group using promotion cycles, just like what we're going to talk about today. So if, you're, if you want to hear from our special guest, Type guests down there below if you're ready to hear from our special guest. Tuan, is there anything else we want to share before we bring up Malik? No, let's just let's get into this. All right, All right Malik. Malik. Come on, bring on, on, on y'all. Welcome, Malik. He's coming up on the screen right now. Y'all, y'all give him a warm welcome down in the chat. Uh, he's joining us live for the very first time inside this Facebook group community and here on our YouTube channel. Uh, Malik, you got a very interesting story. I can't wait for the people to hear your story. Uh, Twan, I mean, like it's been an exciting journey, uh, just, yeah. just been, being with Malik. So Malik, if you can kind of just introduce yourself to the group, tell them who you are, man. Uh, just, you know, I'll throw you a softball question in the beginning, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody. My name is Malik. Uh, I am a dating and relationship coach. I've been doing it for the last, this is my third year now. Um, and I recently joined the program because while I was helping a lot of guys, I wanted to figure out if there was a way to kind of go full time. And so I sought out a business coach and I found uh, Corey and Tuan here. And it was one of the best decisions I've made so far. So <laughs> I love that Malik, I'm going to, with your permission, I want to, I want to, I want to bring up a, a post you did inside our Facebook group. And if you're, if you're tuning in right now, I want you to really lean in. 
uh, because this is a powerful testimony of just, you know, where Malik was at before he found us. And we can kind of talk into that real quick. Uh, let me share this real quick. Uh, this was actually a, a, a little screenshot that I created uh, for Malik. Um, it says here, relationship coach closed 14.5K in 10 days, okay? Now, I'm going to talk into this, but here's what I want to focus on here. You created a post and you said, before I joined, I only made 10K in one and a half years doing only coaching calls through word of mouth. I want you to kind of talk into that because something that I've seen in the marketplace, we call it like the feast and famine, right? Meaning that what's going to happen is friends and referrals, they're going to run dry. And what happens if you don't have a solid marketing campaign, if you don't have a solid offer, if you're not using new organic strategies, family and friends are not going to make you any money more. And so kind of talk into that, you know, 10, uh, you know, your, your first couple of years, you only made 10 K. Yeah. What was that like? So in the, in the beginning, I will say in the beginning, I was still trying to figure out if this was something I was going to do. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm a very big believer in doing like kind of just like beta testing and doing things for like really cheap at first. And just, just so that people care about the time that they're spending. So I was doing calls for like 25, $50, like very cheap. Um, and this was also like experience and like, you know, like social proof for me that I actually know what I'm saying and can actually get people the results that they wanted. And so as you can imagine, that's a lot of calls. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, people would book me for like probably out, like hours, like on end because, you know, it's, it was cheap. Right. And so I was able to help a lot of guys. I found out that this was something that I was really passionate about. I cared a lot about. Um, and I, it's not like I have like a bad job per se, but I wanted something that was a little bit more fulfilling. And so that's kind of like how I started there. And so as you saw in that post, I made like 10, 10.5 K like in like a year and a half of like doing those short calls. Eventually I met a friend who was like, dude, you changed my life. There's no way I'm paying you $25. And then eventually the price uh, went up from there after a guy telling me that. So uh, good. How many of y'all can re relate to Malik? Like you got, you got resources, right? You got this gift, you got talent, you got the capabilities. And maybe, you know, that your, your pricing was just not right. For us, Tuan and I, we can relate. Tuan, remember, we got hey, we we got so low, we got paid with a burger joint coupon. So this is the this is the coupon we got paid with. So Malik, I mean, at least you did twenty five dollars. We got a free burger joint coupon. So <laughs> you can relate to Malik on that. Just put price down there in the chat because you're worth it. You're a luxury brand. And Malik, let me ask you a question. I know, like you, you, you went through this whole phase that year and a half. You got some referrals. You made 10 ten k. Uh, which I would say right now, that's sometimes that's more than a lot of the coaches are making in the industry right now. Just be honest with you, because it's, you know, a lot of times people just not making anything. They're just still trying to try to make it right. But how did you find us? How did you run across Tuan and myself? So I, I ran across uh, Tuan and you, uh, yourself because um, I was basically trying to figure out how I could reach more people. Because I like you said, the the friends and family was running dry. I was milking them for every dollar especially when the prices started getting higher as you can imagine people were like yeah not as excited uh still yeah or they couldn't afford it and so i was like hmm, how do i find more people and so i youtubed like how to find leads like marketing like i knew nothing literally nothing and uh, I actually found out about Dave Smith and Unipro, which is like this marketing software for organic Facebook growth. And uh, I found out their videos and I had already done a lot of my, uh, a lot of my, um, the word of mouth came from Facebook, right? Like friends referring other friends through Facebook, like add this guy, he needs help, stuff like that. Um, and essentially, uh, I was like, oh, this is cool. Let me like look into it. So I did like a free trial, dove into that. And it was crazy, the stuff that they had, but that's a separate thing. Um, but I remember when I was doing it, I was like, this is cool. But they keep talking about this offer thing. And I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to create an offer. I don't know how to sell an offer. I don't know how to sell. Like, I'm not a business person by any means, any means at all. Um, so. How I asked I asked Dave, I'm like, 
do you have any business coaches that you like highly recommend? Uh, and he was like, yes, I have just the people for you. And that's kind of how we conversation started. Hey, I love that because we're talking about family and friends and referrals. Uh, if you're not familiar with Dave Smith and Lucy, <laughs> there are some of our uh, awesome kingdom peeps that we partner up with. Uh, and, we, and, and just kind of touch base on that, you know, a big part of our program, what we, what we help Malik do is we help them find, we help our clients find targeted leads in a very unconventional way, meaning that it's not the the typical conventional organic way where you're just sending manual reach outs and, you, you know, some gurus telling you to go post in people's Facebook groups and then eventually you're going to get kicked out because, you know, you sound kind of spammy. You're sending 100 DMs uh, organic. I mean, just like manually. And, you know, and what I say about this, organic is great, but we teach like a new way of organic marketing. And that's what Malik's talking about there when it comes to like software tools and automations. And so definitely that's something that, you know, we can explore more on another call. But Malik, I want to I want to bring something up because a big part of what me and Corey do inside our community is we help people launch, grow, and monetize Facebook groups, right? That's our bread and butter. That's what we've been doing for the past two years. Malik has a, a, a growing Facebook group. And all we did with Malik was we helped him refine his offer and we helped him launch a 14-day promotional cycle that he can promote his current offer. It could be a special uh, inside his Facebook group. And, I'm, and I'm, I want to show you how simple this process works because here's a post that Malik shared uh, inside our group, I think just last month. I'm going to pull this up real quick, Malik. And I want you to kind of talk through this right here. Uh, here on July 3rd uh, at the bottom, Malik says, finally putting the 14-day promo cycle to work after refining my offer. I announced, I announced it in my group and did a first teaser post, which was very well received. I did the launch post, and within an hour, I have seven people ready to jump on a triage call with me. This is nuts, okay? Now, I want to give you the update. On July 9th at the top here, he said, whoa, Malik, talking to this, you had... 10 triage calls, five sales calls. That was just maybe in the first few days of launching this promo cycle. What was that like? Talk to the audience and, and kind of help us understand like the whole mindset that you have to develop and then just launching. And then how excited were you when you had people raise their hand and say, I want to know more. I want to know more. Uh, it was kind of like disbelief at first. Um, and I also didn't exactly know how to run these, these calls and stuff. So it was a little bit of nervousness too. It was my first time actually doing this new way of approaching, you know, promoting my offer and stuff like this. And so it was exciting, but after the, uh, the first call and after hearing, seeing the guy's faces, when I would tell them about what I did in my offer, uh, and their reactions and the like pure excitement that other guys got, they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, that was just like, it like warmed my heart and it made me like really excited. And so like, that was, uh, like that, I mean, that, that post I did, that was just like the beginning, like there was more that happened after that. Like it did more calls. And then I had even, those were just the ones that were related to my offer. I had considerably more people that like bought my, my coaching calls as well too, which was yeah. like also, uh, a big thing. Yeah. Uh man i you know earlier we we were uh, we were on the call before uh we went live and malik you said something i thought was just so powerful you said i still got a lot of people that are looking to join my program but i have to tell them that i don't currently i'm not taking any more clients All right you said something around that yeah here's what i want you to take away from this if you're tuning in right um Malik is going, he's, he's having a great problem in his business right now. How many of y'all want to have great problems, right? It's not like I don't have enough leads. It's not that I'm not making enough sales. It's now at a part of my business where I got to figure out how do I fulfill more clients as I'm growing and scaling my business. Talking to that real quick, Malik, yeah. how does that feel? Uh, well, one, it feels amazing. I didn't think I would... <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be, uh, a, I didn't think I could pull it off as a coach like three years ago. It was a kind of like people pushed me to do it. And, uh, to be on this side where I'm like, I, 
I'm like kind of stressed because I'm like, I have no idea how I'm going to meet the demands of all these people that need this thing for me. Um, is just it, like, it feels great. It is also like inspiring and it, like makes me like want to work and like hustle harder so I can meet more people. And like, it also makes me want to like build a team so I could do it even better. Right. And so like, I can already see like a future start. I, I told my, I was talking to my mom about this yesterday. It was like, I can see like a little light at the end of the tunnel now when before it was just like, I'm just completely in the dark. And now it feels like I have something I'm moving towards. Hmm. So good. So good. And y'all get, give it up for Malik and Malik. I, I just love seeing the joy on your face, especially, I mean, can y'all relate to him? Think about like the year and a half that he spent just trying to figure it all out. Like just trying to try different processes, bumping his head against the wall, you know, making $10,000, and now, of course, you just get the right system. So, like, y'all type system down there in the chat uh, because the, with the right system, you can do a whole, whole lot with what you already have. And, Malik, it sounds like you just had, like, a, maybe a couple of tweaks. You needed to understand how to create an offer that was irresistible. You needed to understand, like, how to create a promotion that actually can put that offer out. And then third was just how to talk to people and you know get a client is that pretty accurate that's very accurate yeah so let me ask you a question have you have you made your investment back that you invested with us yes <laughs> yes <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember when i first signed up i was very hesitant at first and because i was like man uh, I don't know if I could do do that because I was trying to be uh, self-sufficient or whatever. And I made it back in a week. And I was like, what? What is going on? <laughs> well, gang, I will preface. Not, not everybody's not going to make it back in a week, okay? Malik made it back in a week because he did some hard to, to work. He put some effort in. He just followed the system, right? And what I like about, like, Tuan, I saw that you wrote, uh, that you had those, those snapshots of, of the post that Malik wrote. I know one of them was like, oof, I got like seven triage calls, calls today. That's really what we like. We really like to help you overload your triages, help you overload your discovery calls. So can you kind of walk us through like how was it hard? Was it easy? Tell us about this 14-day promotion cycle. What did you do to get this thing going? Okay, so uh, one, it was hard, yes, but for different reasons. Um, the first one was the... Um, was the when I did the actual like when I started the promotion cycle I had like not only did I have uh when I announced I had something exciting coming right I had like dms from like so many people they're like what are you doing tell me now blah, blah, blah. like friends that's the like, hard part <laughs> yes the, the hard part I'm like I'm like chill chill it's coming it's coming like <laughs> like chill, like relax um uh and then when I did the uh when I did the actual uh actual my first like kind of explaining what I'm doing on my group kind of told my story, that whole deal. Um, I got way more comments than I was expecting. I probably had like 30, 40 people comment on the post. I probably had like 20, 30 people DM me asking me like, I want to know more. Can you tell me more, please? Uh, and so that was overwhelming because I was like, how the hell am I going to do talk with all these people in two weeks right and so I, I had to like make like a calendar or calend calendly you right yeah um and to like kind of schedule out the appointments because I was doing everything manually like I had no no system right um so I was booking out the whole like 15 minute like calls for that and so I didn't know how to uh, approach these calls so in the beginning, there were a couple of people that I lost because I kind of came in like super hot. Yeah. Um, and so I had to learn how to like, you know, calm down a little bit, kind of figure out where they're coming from and kind of, you know, how to properly do pre triage calls. And then, you know, then the next time I did a sales call, I literally for the, <laughs> I, before I talked with uh, Robert, I was actually just going in and I was just, there is like a, uh, a doc that you guys give gave me to create my offer and I would get on the call and I would literally just share my screen and just show them and just walk through everything with them um and it was very like uh rough is what I'll say it was like a very rough draft 
and so it was like confusing and stuff like that and i remember i watched back over the corner i'm like ooh uh that wasn't good and then i had a call with tuan um who helped me he was like okay let's consolidate this make this a little bit easier to read i get into a strategy call and then i like every single call after that led to a sale of some sort i was like what so, <laughs> um, and so you were able to get on one-on-ones with robert yeah, yeah. i know you got one-on-one with Twan, and then all of a sudden now like now you start getting sales yes consistently like every single time so good so good game yeah. how, how many of y'all would like to have that happen like be able to just use a promotion type cycle where you have templates and the only thing you got to do is fill in the blanks you can change a couple of things if you want and post them right on facebook not going live, not doing all this other stuff, but just use the templates to actually just like, like make the templates do the work. So uh, as we wrap it up, Malik, is there anything like, what would you share with any coaches that's looking to start their business? Uh, you know, maybe they're apprehensive, kind of like with you, you know, maybe, you know, they're, they're getting maybe referrals or, or maybe they're charging too less. What would you say to them now when you're looking from this side? How, uh, what would you, what kind of word of advice would you give to them? Um, something that, uh, was told to me was that you need to figure, like figure out the problem that you're going to solve. And I, maybe this sounds super simple, but like the way they broke it down to me was like, you figure out the problem that you're going to solve and figure out what they need. And you talk to a bunch of people and validate that's what they want. And cause you'll find out a lot. And so, uh, once you have that, then you can kind of create this offer and you don't need to have everything ready to start i think that was the biggest thing for me i'm very much so a perfectionist in like everything that i do and so to go into my offer which was like a whole program and a course and not have it the course complete right i had like the first section that people would when they joined to be ready to go scared me but people were I, I told them up front that hey only the first section is complete they're like yeah don't worry about it uh, I'll be there when it's it. And that kind of like blew my mind. I'm like, oh, I should have been doing this from the get go. Like all this worrying was for nothing. So that'd be like my one piece of advice. Yeah, and that's great advice too. So for all you perfectionists out there, I want you to repeat after me. If Malik can do it, I can do it. You don't have to be perfect to start. Uh, and you definitely don't need everything mapped out before you actually present an offer i always tell our clients this passion doesn't always pay the bills you want to validate 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 before you create anything and that's exactly what malik did jumped on a couple calls with us helped him refine some things with the messaging made the offer it wasn't perfect and sales kept on coming in and they're going to keep on coming in so malik Thank you so much for just taking some time out and just adding value to our community how many of y'all got some value just from hearing malik's personal testimony of how he made 16k already since joining our mastermind but as we wrap it up Corey, um what would you what would you say is our biggest takeaway here yeah. as we uh yeah i think the biggest takeaway gang is just is just not being a perfectionist and, and launching uh making offers uh but making them the right way um and then of course once you make the offers make sure you're pricing that offer to make sense not only for you for the client a lot of times we say you know we want to we want to bless people. We want to have that's that's cool, but you also need to make it congruent and and uh, it needs to be right for you. It needs to be right for the client. And what you hear from Malik, Malik made fourteen about fourteen point uh, fourteen five uh, fourteen thousand five hundred in like ten days. Uh, he went on and closed a couple of more sales. I think total was like sixteen five or something like that, which is pretty cool. But uh, but if you're joining us today and you might be saying, this, "I want to use the same promotion cycle that Malik." use if that's you like think about like if who's who's here will say like i want to use that same promotion cycle so if you're on facebook if you're on youtube make sure you hit like and subscribe on a youtube audience but what, what, what we want you to do is uh, for those on facebook put promo down there in the chat like p-r-m p-r-o-m-o -O, you know um and just put that down there in the chat and what we'll do is we'll reach out to you and just see if our 14-day promotion cycle will fit your business okay uh, we'll have some uh, one of our team members just reach out and just kind of ask a couple of questions, uh, maybe even give you the promotion cycle uh, templates. Who knows? But just just put promo down there. If you're in, on our YouTube audience, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a, a, a link 
down there in the chat where you can click it and then you can see also exactly if that promotion cycle will work out for you in your business. So what we want to do is help more people because uh, we figured if we help you actually reach more clients, then of course we've done our due diligence and helped you know the world get better because what we are we're rightly going to assume that you're going to bring value to the marketplace just like Malik is doing right now. So if y'all can give it up for Malik down there in the chat. Uh, let him know uh, that that he's added some value to you. Malik, man, we appreciate you for jumping on with us. Uh, again, if you're here with us and you want to see if that promotion cycle will work out for you, that 14-day promotion cycle, put promo down there in the chat. We'll reach out to you later uh, to see if it works out for you like it's and uh, and to see if we can help you as well. So, Tuan, any other last-minute remarks as we, as we close out? Go make them offers. Make more offers. If you want to make more money, you got to make more offers. That's my last and great advice for today. So Malik, thank you 